What's up everyone? It's Troy from Marks on Games and today I wanted to go over a little article here that I was going to go over last week on uh, my Friday live stream that was a surprise. Uh, unfortunately, I got a surprise at the end of the stream. I had to cut it off after 40 minutes uh, very abruptly because uh, if you don't know, my wife and I foster cats and there was some health emergency there but it's all good now everybody so everything's okay uh but i did want to get to this article let's get into it now something uh i it's it's a follow-up on a story i did from last week actually uh, it was on a previous live stream and i posted like the clipped video where i talked about this other article uh, about uh a, a certain game from uh warner bros discovery i might have to censor myself for the youtube overlords but uh, check it out. You'll, you'll get what I'm talking about here. Rocksteady confirms the next Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League DLC character, Mrs. Freeze, is a lesbian. So she's not trans like some people speculated, but she is a les. So there's not going to be a reverse of the story where uh, Mr. Freeze is the one that is suffering health issues and is now, you know, put away and, and cryogenically frozen until uh, Mrs. Freeze can find a cure, you know, a, a flip of the actual story. No, 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 no. She's a lesbian. Ha! Gay! Look, look at this character. In my thumbnail earlier, I put her on the body of someone wearing flannel because, I mean, God, look, look at it. That is, like, out loud and proud, man. I drive a Subaru because I'm gay. In what can only be described as a desperate play to get someone to play the widely panned game, Rocksteady Studios has confirmed that in addition to being a gender-swapped version of the classic DC villain, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League's next DLC character, Mrs. Freeze, will also be a member of the lesbian community. Yeah, look at that character right there. Man, that's uh, more manly than some men. You could say more manly than me on a on occasion, but uh, you know that's that's what some people would say. Either way, it's true. Even right here, you see related Suicide Squad kill the Justice League character artist confirms industry bias against attractive female characters. It's very difficult to pitch beautiful or vain black women in games without them coming back like grocery store aunties. Yeah! That's a bit of an old story I never did cover. I thought it was a little spicy, but it's very true. If you look at all of these games, even look at Harley Quinn. She's got broader shoulders. She's got, like, pretty much no figure, kind of flatter hips, uh, much smaller chest. She's just, I mean, she's still womanly, but nowhere near as much as, say, like, the Arkham games. Her face isn't as as pretty. Like they they just really nerf the looks of these women because most of the time, like uh, they they've done a lot of side by side pictures of the women who design these games, write for these games, and then what the main female character looks like. Usually, they look a lot like them. Like the new female lead in uh, the new Fable game coming out looks a lot like uh, one of the women in charge of the game. So, you know, it's it's all these stupid self-inserts. That's why even in, like, TV and, and movies, why Velma is now an Indian, because uh, Mindy, Mindy Kaling wanted her to look more like her. Y you can't just be a, a beautiful woman anymore. I don't care, black, white, Indian, Asian, whatever. It's the same thing. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? The Embattled Studio confirms the, the uh, aspect of Mrs. Freeze's character in a July 17th blog post, officially unveiling her planned uh, addition to Task Force X. Quote, Victoria Freeze, spelled Freeus. It's not even spelled like Mr. Freeze, so it just... Because Mr. Freeze, it was spelled similar, but this is Freeus, or Freeus. His was with an E, not an A. But Victoria Frias is a ice-cold, self-sufficient survivalist who has watched her Elseworld turn to ice as Brainiac's invasion took hold, describes Rocksteady the, uh, describes Rocksteady the villain. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I don't know if that's what they meant. 
sometimes bounding into comics doesn't uh, edit their work the best, but uh, either way. Get your shit together. By the time we meet her in season two, she has spent years in the last holdout of her dying planet, unwilling to leave her cryogenically frozen wife behind. But after being recruited by the squad, she may have the chance to save her and unleash icy hell. Done! She has a cryogenically frozen wife, like Mr. Freeze. Now, of course, she's a self-sufficient survivalist because she's a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. Make it my name! Make it my name! And she don't have a man. She has a girl. Gal. Woman. Whatever. Oh! Gay. Gay, 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 so gay. And though Mr. Freeze himself won't be making an appearance in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, Rocksteady has confirmed that his Arkham Asylum outfit will be featured as a purchasable cosmetic option for his gender-swapped counterpart. Of course it will. Of course. Throughout the season, a number of new outfits will be available in the store, most exciting for... Uh, most excitingly for old school Rocksteady fans, the Arkham family of outfits, explained the developer. Quote, these classic looks for Deadshot, Harley, Mr. F Mrs. Freeze, and the Joker are inspired by iconic designs from the Arkham Asylum games. Each of the outfits comes with an with awesome swatches too, themed after infamous DC supervillains from the Batman Arkham series, including Solomon Grundy, Two-Face, and Ra's al Ghul. Cool. Unfortunately, for those curious, as of writing, Rocksteady has not released any preview images depicting just how Victor uh, Victor's Arkham outfit, as originally donned by the villain in the Arkham in Arkham City, will look when worn by Victoria. Uh, spoiler: stupid. Uh, not good. Believe me, not good. It's gonna look bad. It's gonna just be ridiculous because the character herself is ridiculous. Look, look at this damn thing and she's like snowboarding or shooting ice out of her boots whatever god what the hell is even that i know they're like oh well this is an elseworlds whatever yeah because you gotta jackhammer another lesbian into the game that's what it is more rainbow culture in your games more ugly female characters in your games less men Piss on the past, destroy the past, kill kill the past, bury it, burn it with fire, do whatever you can to disrespect it, whatever. This game is going down the tubes. I covered it in my previous video. Nobody plays this damn thing. So the amount of people that are actually going to see Mrs. Freeze are going to be so minimal anyway. I just figured I'd point this out and talk about how stupid this is and how Rocksteady just keeps shooting themselves in the foot. And I don't get it because they've shown that they're very capable of making really good games. Just this ain't it, man. A WBD Games has already come after them. They're like, dude, you've come out with quite a few, like, there, there have been quite a few good games, like especially like last year we had Hogwarts Legacy. Now this year they have the absolute stinker, the absolute pile of trash that is Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. So, uh, you know, whatever, C congratulations on your growing pile of crap. It's it's not just a, a, a little turd in the punch bowl. No, 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 this is a giant, like, Jurassic Park level pile of crap. That is one big pile of shit. And nobody plays it, nobody cares about it. But, you know, enjoy uh, enjoy what little publicity you're getting from stupid decisions like this. As always, I am Troy from Marks on Games. I hope you like the video. Subscribe to the channel and click the little bell to be notified every single time we post brand new content. It's multiple times a week. Again, this is Marks on Games, and we'll see you next time.